One. Well, after months of speculation, Hulu has announced today that it will offer a commercial-free version, ad-free video streaming service for $12 a month, only 4 bucks more than Hulu Plus. Now, let's talk about this on the Kogo News Live line is San Diego State marketing lecturer Stephen Osinski. And Steve, first, explain for our listeners exactly what the significance of Hulu's announcement is. This is a fascinating uh, announcement by Hulu. There are three major video streaming companies in America right now. The unequivocal 8,000-pound gorilla is Netflix. It has over 65 million customers worldwide right now. In the second position is Amazon Prime, which is owned by Amazon, obviously, and they have about 13.5 million. So Hulu is number three at 9 million. It's a lot of subscribers, but why this is so relevant is out of the big three, it's the only one that would charge for uh, it would charge subscribers a fee, as you mentioned, about 7.99 a month. And in, in, in place of that fee, they would have a certain number of commercials that viewers would have to go through, both at the beginning of a program and then midway through it. And uh, customers were willing to pay for that. Why this is really significant, though, is because Hulu, which is actually owned by three of the largest media companies in the world, the Disney Corporation, Comcast, and Fox News, or the Fox Co- Corporation, uh, who, those companies made their money through advertising and media. By choosing to eliminate the option of having commercials for only $4 more a month, it's kind of a public indicator that perhaps the uh, media companies themselves are saying, we're losing so many customers, it's better to cannibalize ourselves and still keep them using one of our services versus uh, just ignore the problem, which is customers don't seem to want to pay for commercials anymore or watch commercials. Well, I think all of us can relate to that fact. Even watching traditional TV, we want to speed through the commercials. If we do record the show, we speed through them. We uh, we don't want to spend a lot of time watching them. So, And then you look at these fee-based services like these these you're talking about. So customers are willing to pay whatever it is, you know, 10 bucks a month, 15 bucks a month, 6 bucks a month, whatever it might be. And uh, how much money will they pay moving forward? And where's the industry heading? Totally commercial-free? Some commercials, it would seem to me that, yes, while you multiply 60 million times whatever it costs for one of the services, it's a lot of money. But how much more money you could make if you actually sold ads or not or or couldn't you? Well, this is a big question floating around. Right now, television advertising, in spite of the growth of digital in general, television is the biggest media revenue source in the United States. Uh, in 2015, Zenith Optimedia, which is a large media uh, research company, forecasted that there's going to be $67 billion, $67 billion spent on television advertising. The number two media is Internet digital advertising at about $52 billion. So TV is very dominant. When we see the statement by a company that happens to be owned by three large media players, uh, when we see the statement that they're saying, we're going to stay competitive, we're going to increase our rate by $4 a month. That's $48 a year. It's almost nothing. Uh, and we're going to offer an option to our customers not to have any advertising. To me, this is a major wake-up call of the large media networks in general saying, you know what, what's the true value of our commercials and what are we going to do to, you know, are we going to stay competitive and how are we going to stay competitive? Is it going to be offering a lot of content and not charging for commercials and not having advertisers and having a fixed subscriber fee? Or are we going to try to hold on to the commercial product and sell ads? Well, you make a great point. I mean, do you see a time in the not-so-distant future where these major companies that are in the commercial business and other medium now are going to be moving all their content to live streaming? You pay a certain amount per month, and you get no ads. Well, it it could be down the road. The trend is certainly happening right now with HBO Now. Uh, Spike Television is a network, I believe, that's run by Viacom, which offers several of their different programs on it. Uh, it's a scary proposition because television has been a- there's been advertising on television since 1941. So this is a major shift that's going on right now. Uh, at the same time, though, you know, again, it's a more targeted, more affluent audience that can pay for the Netflixes out there and that can pay for the Hulus. So there is a large population of America that will continue to watch broadcast television. Only I don't know if it's the quote most desired advertising prospect base that the advertisers are looking for. Would you expect that price that they're charging for ad-free service to go up, and would you expect people to be willing to pay? I'm, I'm, you know, what's that price point where you get to a point where they're not going to pay that? Well, that's a real challenge, and to be honest with you, Cliff, I teach primarily millennials at San Diego State. I have about 80 students in my advertising class, and this generation, and I hate categorizing anybody by a generation, but they're very accustomed to getting content for free, such as YouTube and things like that. So I don't know exactly where the price point is, and uh, that's a challenge that is making a lot of the advertising medium companies and the networks and everybody 
quite nervous at this point. Nobody really knows what that sweet spot is. All right, Stephen Osinski from San Diego State Marketing uh, Department, Business College there. I tell you, I really appreciate uh, your insight into this uh, topic. And we're going to hear a lot more about this as we move forward, of course, as we all watch video streaming and uh, just have to decide just how much we want to pay for it. Thanks, Stephen. This is San Diego's News at Noon. Coming up, we're going to check Coco's Real-Time Travel.